Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Umi Saida. I am from class 1C Farmasi. I would like to read a story about the boy and the king and people of the trench. Ashab ul Uhdud. Suhaib ibn Sinan reported that the messengers of Allah told there lived a king Yusuf Dunawas before you before you in Yemen and he lived about 70 years before the birth of messengers of Allah and he had a magician. As the magician grew old, he said to the king, I have become old and my time is nearly over, so send me a boy whom I can teach magic. So he sent, a, he sent him a boy, Abdullah ibn Tamir, and the magician taught him a magic. On his way to the magician, the young man found a monk sitting there and listened to his talk and was impressed by it. It became his habit then on, that on his way to the magician, he met the monk and uh, said that so he was led in coming to the magician who beat him because of the delay. The young boy made a complaint about it to the monk, so the monk said, When you feel afraid of the magician, say, My people kept me busy. And when you feel afraid of your family, say to them, The magician kept me busy. It once happened that there came a hook beast of prey, and it blocked uh, the way of the people. The young boy said, I shall find out today whether the magician or the monk is correct in belief. He picked up a stone and said, Oh Allah, if the teaching of the monk are dearer to you than the teaching of the magician, bring that to this animal, so that the people will be able to move about freely. He threw that stone uh, towards it and killed it and the people began to move about on the path freely. The young man then came to that monk and informed him. The monk said, my son, today you are superior to me. Your affairs have reached a stage where I find then uh, that you will soon be put to the test. And in, and in that case, don't reveal my identity. The young man began to treat the blind and those suffering from leprosy and began to cure people of all kinds of illness. There was a courtier about the king who had become blind and he heard about the boy. He came and broke a number of gifts for the boy and said, If you cure me, all these things collected together here will be yours. He said, I myself do not cure anyone. It is Allah who cured. If you affirm faith in Allah, I shall also supplicate Allah to cure you. He affirmed his faith in Allah and Allah cured him. He came to the king and sat by his side as he used to sit before. The king said to him, Who restored your eyesight? He said, My lord. The king then asked, I did. The courtier said, No, my lord and your lord, Allah. The king said, Do you have another lord beside me? He said, Yes, your Lord and my Lord is Allah. Whereupon the king took hold of him and tortured him until he revealed the identity of boy. The young man, wa uh, the young man was thus summoned and the king said to him, Oh boy, it has been conveyed to me that you have become so talented in your magic, that you are that you cured the blind and do suffering from leprosy and you do such and such things. There you upon he said, I do not cure anyone, it is Allah who cures. The king, took, uh, the king took hold of him and began to torture him. So he revealed uh, the identity of the monk. The monk was the summoned and it was said to him, Turn back from your religion. He however refused to do so. King ordered a saw to be broke and it was placed in the middle of his head and it fell apart. Then the courtier of the king was broke and it was said to him, Turn back from your religion, but he refused to do so. Then the same was done with him as well. 
Then the young boy was broke it was, and it was said to him, Turn back from your religion. He refused to do so and he was handed over to a group of his courtier. He said to them, Take him to such and such mountain, make him climb the mountain, and when you reach its top, ask him to give up his faith. But if he refused to do so, throw him down the mountain. So they took him and made him climb the mountain. The boy prayed, Oh Allah, save me from them in any way you will. The mountain began to quake and they all fell down. The boy came walking back to the king. The king said to him, What has happened to your companions? He said, Allah has saved me from them. He again handed him to some of his courtiers and said, Take him and carry him away in a small boat and when you reach uh, the middle of the ocean, ask him to give up his religion. But if he does not give up, Uh, his religion throw him into the water so they took him and the boy prayed oh Allah save me from them and what they want to do it was not long before the boat overturned and they were drowned but he came walking walking back to the king the king said to him what has happened to your companions he said Allah has saved me from them he also said to the king You cannot kill me until I tell you how to do. He asked, what is that? The boy said, you should gather people on a plane and hang me by the trunk of a tree. Then, then take an arrow from quiver and say, in the name of Allah, the Lord of the world. Then shoot an arrow. If you do that, you will be able to kill me. So he did this and placing an arrow in the bow. He shot it and saying, Bismillahirrabbi, in the name of Allah, the Lord of the young boy. The arrow hit the boy in the temple and the boy placed his hand over the, the arrow one and died. The people proclaimed, we affirm our faith in the Lord of this young man. The courtiers came to the king and it was said to him, Do you see what has happened that which you fear, fear has taken place? That their faith is in, is in the Lord. So he ordered that ditches to be dug at the, at the entrance, entrance uh, to the road and it was done. And fire were kindled in them. Then, uh, uh, then the king said, Whoever abandons his religion, let him go, and whoever does not, throw him into the water, into the fire. The people courted that, uh, but did not refuse their faith from Allah, until a woman came with her baby whom she, she was breastfeeding. She felt, res, uh, she felt hesitant about jumping into the fire. The baby spoke to her, Be patient, mother, for verily you are following the truth. Muslim and Imam Ahmad recorded it. According to some reports, about more than 12,000 people were burned into ashes after that the fire flared up so high that it, that it uh, spread out widely through the city and burned all those who were, who were who were watching watching the fun of burning the Muslims. Only Yusuf Dunawas, the king, managed to run away and throw himself into the sea in order to himself from the rage of the fire. But he got drowned and died. Tafsir Mazhari It was about Dunawas and his army that Allah revealed to his messenger. In surah number 85 Al-Buruj, The reference is made to this incident. The Holy Quran cures uh, where the people of the trench, the people of the fire that was rich with fuel, when they were sitting by it and were watching what they were doing with the believers. And they had blamed them for nothing but that they believe in Allah, the Almighty, the worthy of all praise, 
the one to whom belong the kingdom the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and Allah it is witness over everything surely uh, those who persecute the believing men and believing women then did not, rip, not repent for them there is the torment of Jahannam hell and for them there is the torment of burning in a narration of Muhammad ibn Ishaq it is reported that the place where the boy Abdullah ibn Tamir was buried had to be dug for uh, some important reason during the time of Sayyidina Umar R.A. It was found that the boy of Abdullah ibn Tamir was unharmed and he was sitting up. His hand was placed on his hip joint. When the arrow struck him, some peop- someone people moved his hand out from that place and his uh, wounds started bleeding. When the hand was placed Uh, back in its position, the bleeding stopped. There was a ring in his finger which had the inscription, Allahu Rabbi, Allah is my Lord. The governor of Yemen informed Sayyidina Umar R.A. about this, and he wrote back in replay, covered the body back as it was with his fingering, Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Sekian, terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.